No. Round away, it's a 12 rounder, a WBO eliminator for the title currently held by the American, the 36 year old Nate Campbell. Perhaps that's a big one, which might happen right here in Bolton, possibly in the Reebok Arena. Who knows? That is a possibility before the year is out. Khan would like it in his next fight. You can see he's got a slight reach advantage. Boxes with so much more maturity than in his earlier days. You heard Barry McGuigan talking about his boxing performance, particularly that seventh round against Gary St. Clair. That's in his previous fight. And really, for me, Khan looks as though he moved on a level there. He was again in against a durable and very, very experienced opponent. And he outboxed him and won every round for me. Christiansen. He's got his father Christian, his trainer in his corner, and his brother Lars. It's a family affair, but how good is he going to be? His one defeat against the veteran Italian Stefano Zoff, slippery customer, and in the rematch against Zoff, he drew with him, but Zoff had him down. He's not a big puncher. Khan may have the advantage, surely, in weight and in punching power, weight of punch, if he can find the range at an early stage, Duke. Uh, Khan's made a sensational start as ever. Fast hands and just good lateral movement. His, his hand speed really is quite frightening at times. It's that quick. Put a sneak right hand there from Christensen. Just trying to expose Khan with, with, the, with the low left hand lead there. Christensen comes from the Mogan's Palace stable of fighters. Mogan's daughter Bettina over here with her man tonight. And uh, Christensen, as I said in the walk-in, he was given a message of encouragement by Mikel Kessler, and certainly Kessler came and gave Joe Calzaghe a tremendous fight last November. And if Chris Jansen can do something similar, then Khan's in for a difficult night. Good sneak straight right hand from the Dane there. Just a reminder to Khan, who, as Duke said, started well, but he just clipped him there and showing that he's got a little bit of hand speed. 30 seconds to go in the opening round. But the crowd, as you would expect, right behind their man. Khan gets really fired up. He wants to put on a good performance. There's that right hand again from Chris Jansen. Not enough, I don't think, to give the Dane the opening round, but just a reminder that he is there, and he's there aiming to land that shot which Sinclair had success with in the last fight that Khan had. First round to Amir Khan. Well, Christiansen had his moments in that opening round. He landed one or two decent right hands, but Khan's greater speed round emphatic. Two. So into the second round. Amir Khan says that his strength has improved, his speed has improved, and as an all-round fighter, he's now becoming close to the finished article. And he told me quietly on Thursday up at the press conference that he believes that the way Chris Jansen comes forward, the way in which he tries to throw loads of shots, he does actually leave himself open. And some of the power shots that Khan's been working on in the gym, he reckons they're going to be able to get through. Well, that wouldn't surprise me. You know, Khan's tactics thus far have been absolutely spot on in every fight that he's had. So you would expect it to be no different in this fight. The better the opponent, the better you would expect him to fight. Lovely body shot by Khan. Khan has a full-time conditioner and dietitian, Paul Richards, who works for some time with the Leicester Rugby Club, also involved with Bolton Wanderers. And Khan says that his strength has improved as a result of that. Yeah, I think Khan hits too hard for this kid. Well, good left hand from Khan. Chris Jansen takes it well, though. One thing about Chris Jansen as well is that he is cut prone. Yeah, he's already sort of dabbing at his, his left eye, which looks reddened already. Mickey Van, in his final year as a star class referee, been one of our best officials over the years.
still tremendously fit at the age of 64. He's the man officiating here. Chris Jansen trying to cut the ring off, trying to find a way through with that right hand. That's his danger shot. But Chris Jansen just been outworked. Good left hand from Khan. Good speed. Good hand speed. Khan looks really sharp. But Khan can't miss him with a punch. Everything he throws lands. Right hand hurt Chris Jansen, I think. And a big body shot. Khan finding his range as early as this stage in the fight, here in the second round. Remember, it's a 12 rounder. Chris Jansen always constantly on the move. Nice right hand by him on that counter attack. Khan switch to the southpaw. The one question mark that the skeptics for Khan still have is over his punch resistance. And he's a big lad for the 9 stone 9 lightweight limit. Closing stages, though, of this second round, and Khan's going well again. But Chris Jansen is not intimidated. No, he's just steadily trying to work his way into this. <laughs> Two rounds completed. And Amir Khan was starting to find his range with some big shots like that. So the difference down. between the two Round fighters three. right now is the speed and variety that Khan's producing. Third round. And Amir Khan, undefeated here in his 17th professional contest. Is it going to be a world title this year? Will he get it quicker than Nazim Hamed? Is it going to be in the next fight? I wonder. <laughs> Khan's also learned how to conserve energy, not put everything into every punch, to walk around the ring and not jump around the ring. All these little tactics, they conserve energy. He's got to get away past Chris Jansen first. And Chris Jansen, so far, has taken what Khan has been able to throw at him. And you can see he's conditioned, he's been working long and hard for this. Been in the gym since Christmas, he was telling me. Of course, he was due to fight Khan before Khan fought Sinclair. Only pulling out because of uh, a flu bug which was going around at the time. Khan landing with a solid left hand. Well, Chris Jensen's going to need a career best performance to beat Khan. Just getting beaten to the punch there, snappy jabs. Chris Jansen's one loss against that wily Italian Stefano Zoff. Good shot from Khan, caught by a left hook. Chris Jansen landed with a pretty sweet little counter there. Well, the bookies were suggesting with the rounds bets that uh, the favourite for this fight was for it to end in the first three. Khan has not got a great deal of time left if that particular bet's going to come to fruition. Incidentally, it was anything between 20 to 1 on and 50 to 1 on to win the fight. And anybody would tell you in a boxing match, that is crazy. It only takes one. But Khan landing with really good punches in this round. Clean shots at range. Khan looking to me as though he's just taking his time, just trying to box his way through and work for those openings rather than going in and throwing the kitchen sink at this fella. Left hand again from Chris Jansen. Khan trying to introduce the uppercuts into the combinations now. Chris Jansen is pretty up and down. He's very up, very wide open to, to the uppercut. All of his punches so far have just been straight shots. Good left hand from Khan in the closing seconds of the third. Chris Jansen, though, looking pretty reasonably well organised. Three rounds completed. Jim McKenzie scored the first three rounds to Amir Khan and there's an example of some of the Second excellent down. shots Round he's been putting four. together. 
Martin Christiansen, who is a decent amateur. Only fought once in the last 17 months. Well, he asked him if he thought that ring rust was going to be a factor, and he said, no way. He said, I've been sparring long and hard, and I'm absolutely ready for this one, as ready as I can be. Well, he's going to need to be. He's, he's at a three-round deficit, and that's what he's got to claw back right now. Still a little bit open to that right hand. That's the one which put him down when he fought Willie Limond and the punch which Gary Sinclair who was able to land repeatedly in that last contest. Despite the brilliance of Khan, he had to take some shots to come through. And just to leave himself a little bit open there as he tried to unload with body shots. Khan looking constantly for the knockout. He's prepared to work for it. He's throwing enough punches, but just leaving himself just a little bit open. A little bit too keen to, to please the fans. Attack, attack, attack is the chant from his supporters who are here as ever in their droves. Chris Jensen, incidentally, recently proposed to his girlfriend. He's getting married after this. Well, let's just hope he doesn't get too banged up because he's soaking up some punishment in this round. Sorry, to keep his, to take yeah. his time. There's a certain poise about Khan in this fight. Maybe he's thinking it's going to go the distance, and he will have to conserve energy. So Chris Jansen, for me, growing in confidence in this fourth round. Absolutely, John. He's walking behind the right hand now, putting together a three-punch combination. It's good from Khan, but Chris Jansen taking it. Chris Jansen, remember, not a puncher, but he throws plenty of them. And Khan's mouth just hanging open a little bit. As the heads go in close, Mickey Van keeping a close look on that one, the referee. Khan working extremely hard. Took another solid right hand there. This has been Chris Jansen's best round so far by a distance. Beautiful body shot by Khan. Yeah, but he took the left hand counter. I'll emphasize that point again. He's put a lot of work into these first four rounds. Best round of the fight so far for the Dane. Landed several good right hands, and there's an example of one combination Second he put together. And Khan in his corner, while well, they're working away at a bit of a swelling under the right eye, or we're doing. And also, just signs of fatigue a little bit from Khan. Maybe a little bit more than I've picked up before at this stage of a contest. Look there, his mouth just hanging open a little bit. Just as though he's having to suck the air in a little bit more than, than his usual. Maybe just my impression, I don't know. We'll see. As you step up in class, as he undoubtedly has, you know, opponents aren't just falling over now. They're soaking up the punishment, they take the shots, and they're still there, as is, as is the case of Christensen. Well, he was saying in the interview, which you heard with Gabriel Clark before the fight, if I hit them flush, I know they'll go. Well, that's all very well, but there comes a point where you hit people flush and they don't go. Chris Jansen's obviously come to win. It's a massive opportunity for him, not only where the world rankings are concerned, but also in taking the scout of Khan. Seen some upsets here in Bolton. Khan now looking to dig deep and to impose his class. Chris Jansen, though, is making him think all the way. And he's advancing, keeping coming forward. Khan looking for the big, powerful counter punches. But Chris Jansen cued to that, keeping his gloves up high. And his corner are quite pleased with the way in which he's imposing himself at this stage. Yeah, and this is something that Khan isn't used to, boxing off the back foot. He likes to, he's a front runner. 
Chris Jansen out of the ring almost has an apologetic air about him at the press conference and at the way and you looked at him and thought this fellow's a fighter are you sure but he gets in there and he's tough for the opening as Chris Jansen tried to unload with those body shots back came Khan Khan not being as assertive in this round the pace had to drop he fought so hard in the first four rounds got himself into a nice comfortable lead <laughs> took a decent left uppercut there Hook come uppercut from Chris Jansen A lot of Khan's work is being taken on the arms and the gloves of the day. Yeah, Roars from the back of the auditorium, but when you sit at ringside, and as you're privileged to do watching on our ringside cameras at home, you can see that there's plenty of Khan shots which are naturally not finding their targets. Absolutely. Chris Jansen switched his attack to the body. Welcome back to Bolton. Amir Khan really quick out of the blocks in this WBO eliminator against Martin Chris Jansen. But there, as you see on Duke McKenzie's card, he's given the last round to Chris Jansen. Chris Jansen, the man with his back to you in the red and white shorts, the 30 year old Dane from a little town, Slagelsi, about. 45 minutes or so's drive outside Copenhagen. Amir Khan, the local lad, is home not too far away, about 10 minutes drive away from this arena here in Bolton. Uh, Chris Jansen now meeting Khan with the jab, spearing his jab through the Khan defense. And Khan comes straight back at him, obviously didn't like it. There was a feeling that Khan might be tempted to try and soften him up with body shots. He took a good shot there, though, from Chris Jansen. This fight is starting to become interesting here in the sixth. The early flurry from Khan has just blown itself out for the moment, and there's a more methodical, measured look about his work. That's a good left to the body. Chris Jansen just managed to slow the pace to his pace. And he's now starting to have a little bit of success. I do think it's a key, Duke, that a lot of the time, momentarily there, Khan was onto the front foot, but a lot of the time he's had enough just to make Khan backpedal. And almost for the first time in his career, we're having to watch Khan as the mover, fighting as the counter puncher. Absolutely. Which is what he's doing now. He switched southpaw to try and confuse Chris Jansen. Well. Is he confusing Chris Jansen, or is it a representation of confusion in himself? Chris Jansen keeps plodding forward, he's looking for that right hand all the time. Still looks full of spring, the Dane, as we near the halfway stage of this fight. Well, there's a certain amount of maturity and calm in Chris Jansen's approach, certainly in the corner, and certainly at this point in the fight. Another option for Khan after this may be the European title. We saw Yuri Romanov brush aside John Thaxton last night. The contest in Bethnal Green which may have ended the chances of Thaxton ever stepping in the ring with Khan as he slipped back in the pecking order. But Romanov showed himself to be a very accomplished fighter. Good round again, this one. The moments for both men when they've enjoyed the advantage. I think Khan land any more uh, eye-catching punches, the harder punches. Khan doing okay. Probably ahead on the judges' cards. Second spawner, 
A gaggle of former Jed world champions here at ringside Jed assessing this fight. Duke McKenzie has got it cleanly by Khan. Just the one round to Martin Chris Jansen. Barry McGuigan, former world featherweight champion. He's got it a shutout at the moment in Khan's favour. And Richie Woodall, working for our radio colleagues from BBC, he's also got every round to this point to Amir Khan. But Chris Jansen is certainly pushing him. Showing himself to be no mug. Well, you know, if I'm in a fight and I'm seven rounds down, I've got to gamble. It's as simple as that. I'm not going to get a points decision. I've got to say to myself, what do I do to get myself back in this fight? I've got to gamble. Has Punch he got the artillery, though, with which to do it? Well, maybe not the artillery, maybe not the punching power. But if I'm fit, I'm going to gamble. I'm going to take it to the opponent. That was a terrific right hand. Lovely combination from Khan. Showed him the left. And that right crashed home with blurring speed. Beautiful body shots by Khan. I think Khan's got every chance, you know, as he said. I don't think it is just hype to talk about his possibilities of going all the way in this division. You look at Nate Campbell. OK. He beats... Diaz, Juan Diaz, but he's by no means unbeatable, Nate Campbell. Joel Casamayor, 36 years old, like Campbell, surely in the autumn of his career. David Diaz, the WBC champion, not exceptional. Khan, can, I reckon, can go in there with these lads, but Chris Jansen, he's still got other ideas at this stage of the fight. But Khan dramatically runs out of pace, out of steam. If he suddenly ships a lot right hand like that one which Willie Limond landed last summer. Well, anything's possible, but, you know, Khan's concentration is good. His hand speed's fantastic. Good shot. Really good right hand, that from Khan. And another one. Oh, he's gone down. Oh, he's got to do that. You cannot hit a man when he's down. And Khan could have got himself in big trouble there. He's got his corner man up there. Has uh, Chris Jansen and he's being given time to recover. And now Khan, quite rightly, will get the right attack from Mickey Van. You cannot do that, and he's lucky not to have a point deducted. But I think he was just in the flow of the combination and was looking for the finish. Chris Jansen looked like he was all out at that point. Khan's looking to finish him now. Here he comes. This is a big attack from Khan. Is it going to end here in the seventh? Khan looking to the big shots. Down goes Chris Jansen again. Two, three, four, five, six. Mickey Van seven, quickly between them. Khan just steamrolling Chris Jansen now. It's volume of punches, and I think he's all but out. One more big shot, I think, might do it. Mickey Van taking a very close look here. He may be poised to end it right here and now. Khan puts Whoa. another big right hand in. The fight is all over. In the seventh round, Amir Khan found a sustained attack to end it. He has won the WBO title eliminator against Martin Christensen. And the big question now is, is he now ready for the title? Khan blasted his man, walked through him when he got that finishing opportunity. The first knockdown was not right. He hit him on the floor. He was rightly admonished by Mickey Van, but then the attack continued from there, and there was no question he would not let his man off the hook. And there's congratulation from Amir's mother, always the family man. They gathered, massed at ringside, and Amir Khan now hugged by his father, Shah. These are the three, these are the knockdowns as they came, Duke. Accumulation by Khan, every punch in the book, and had to chase Christensen around the ring, absolutely run him over, never stopped off from throwing punches, never let him off the hook, was in the flows of throwing the punches there when he went down. He could have been punished in other rings for that one, but by then the damage had been done, I think. I don't actually think those shots on the floor made any material difference to the outcome of the fight. There's another knockdown, and then another one, and here came the knockdown, which prompted the intervention of the referee, and at this point, the fight was all over. And Christensen really didn't want any more from Khan at this point, just cowering and almost falling over quite voluntarily. Amir Khan then, 
He is the winner once again. 17 wins out of 17 now. Martin Chris Jansen beaten in the seventh round. And where now for this phenomenally talented young fighter? Ladies and gentlemen, at 2 minutes 53 seconds of round seven, your referee Mickey Van has stopped the contest. In the interest of safety, he deemed that Martin Chris Jensen was in no fit state to continue. The winner and the new WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Champion in the blue corner from Bolton, Amir Khan. So Amir's celebrations for him Ladies and, for his and gentlemen, family. Please, around. Happy scenes there in Bolton. And Amir Khan looking pretty good. Measured his attacks and when the opportunity came in the seventh round, Chris Jansen was just not able to withstand the onslaught. Khan looked good to me, Jim. Indeed. Very good. Indeed he, he did. Thanks very much to John Rawling and to Duke McKenzie, world champion by the end of this year. Do not bet against it. When you rejoin us, we'll have a word with Amir Khan and there's some more thrilling action to come as well from the big fight live in Bolton. Another very exciting performance from the phenomenal Amir Khan. He took two seven rounds before he dismantled the great Dane Martin Christiansen. And at the end of the fight, trust me, when Nicky Van intervened, the Dane was very happy not to have to take any more of that from the still unbeaten Amir Khan. OK, Amir, took a bit more time than most of your home fights here, but you got him in the end. Oh, yeah, you know, he's, he was very awkward. Um, 